I actually met that woman just two days later. And I realized what I'm about to share with you, that it is absolutely possible to manifest your soulmate. Hello, my name is Jacob Rakowski, and today I want to give you five reasons why you can manifest your soulmate. I want to share a personal experience that I had when I was asking myself the exact same question that you might be asking yourself right now. I was up late one night, and I was tossing and turning, and I couldn't sleep. I don't know if you've ever been there, but I had been through several relationships, some good, some bad, some fulfilling, some unfulfilling. And what I realized was I was ready for something deeper in my life. I was ready for my special person to step into my world, but I didn't know how to find them. And I was tossing and turning and just the question popped into my mind, like by inspiration, where is my soulmate and how do I find them? And it seemed like by a flash of inspiration, I received instructions to start writing. So I began writing and I began writing and I began writing. And after an hour and a half, I had developed a 51 point list of every single detail of my dream person down to the last bit of detail on exactly who they were, what they looked like mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, you know, how we lived our lives together, how our families were together, what type of careers and purpose and impact we would build together. And I actually met that woman just two days later. And I realized what I'm about to share with you, that it is absolutely possible to manifest your soulmate. I believe that everybody has a soulmate. You were made in the image of the creator and you have the power to create. That is my number one reason why you can manifest your soulmate. You were made in the image of the creator. Every single person has the creator, God, the one who made everything living inside of their heart right now at this moment. But unfortunately, we never access, most of us never access that creative ability because we're either focused on survival, you know, paying the bills, getting to work, coming home, not having enough time. We're focused on living in our head and having all these thoughts constantly spinning and we're doing this thing, that thing, the next thing. And very rarely do we stop and pause and move into our heart and feel the infiniteness, the glory, the power that lives right inside of you right now at this very moment. In fact, if you put your hand on your heart right now and you set the intention that I want to feel this, you will feel something very powerful. I started meditating and I started tuning deeper into myself and I started seeing things show up in my life that were signposts to me that let me know I was on the right path. For example, I asked and then I received. I wrote down exactly what I wanted to manifest in my dream person and then we met just two days later. And I know we can all, I know you can think of a moment in your life right now where you said, hey, I want that. Or hey, I wanna meet that person. Or hey, I wanna, I wanna date that person. Or hey, I wanna, I wanna get to know that person better. And then boom, something special happened by synchronicity, by luck, by chance, whatever you wanna call it, you ended up in the situation that you dreamed yourself into. And that is because you have the power to create your own reality. Your soulmate and your dream life are so much closer than you think if you harness the God-given power within you. Number two reason why you can manifest your soulmate is that every single thing that you want actually wants you. Inspiration is the seed of a future accomplishment. So when I was tossing and turning and I felt the inspiration to design my dream person, 
it didn't come from my mind, it came from a higher place. And that higher place was God, the universe, my higher self, my future self saying, hey, this possibility exists. If you're willing to raise your vibration, if you're willing to follow this on faith, if you are willing to take the action steps necessary and become the person necessary in order to create this reality, this is already laid out. I will absolutely take you there. Let's go. Let's go together. Start writing this list. And when I wrote that list and I followed the steps and I raised my vibration, I found that only two days later, I met my soulmate. Every single thing that you want, wants you. It is God's greatest desire to create through you because it is God that is actually living inside of your heart, expressing God's self through you, through your unique mission and purpose and your unique signature of who you are on this earth. You have a very unique purpose and you have gifts that nobody else has. Number three, every good thing is already available for you. Every master was once an absolute disaster. I remember when I was playing soccer, when I was maybe six years old, and when I started, the very first couple of games, I wanted to quit. I told my parents, I'm horrible at this, I'm no good at this, I'm never gonna be good at this, why don't I just quit? I'm the worst one on the team. And my parents told me something that I think you should write down, you should definitely remember, that I'll never forget. They said, if you quit now, you're gonna develop the habit of being a quitter for the rest of your life. If you wanna finish out the season and be done, then that's fine, but you are finishing what you started, you are finishing this season. And guess what? I said, you know what? They're right. I'm gonna do it. I finished out that season, and by my second season, I was faster, I was more accurate, I was stronger, and by the time I finished playing soccer, I was one of the best on the team. I was one of the people that you know the other team had to look out for. And it's so funny because I was so bad at the beginning that there's 11 people on a team and you would almost rather not even put me out on the field because I was so bad, I was a liability. But when I devoted myself and became um, better at, through practice and through intention at what I was doing, I found I had a skill set deep within me that was available. All I needed to do was dig deep and access it. You have the ability to get good at anything you want to. So you may have had horrible luck in your life with relationships. You may have had some of the worst experiences ever, and myself included. The reason why I decided to learn this is because of some very painful relationship experiences, some very um, challenging moments where I said, am I ever gonna have anybody in my life? Am I just bad at this? If you've ever failed at a relationship, you didn't really fail. That relationship just ran its course and it was there to teach you something valuable. Not every relationship is meant to last forever and I promise you, you can become great at this. You can absolutely do this with diligence. The same skill set applies for manifesting your soulmate, for getting good at attracting your dream person, as does for anything else. You need to learn what's necessary, practice faith over a consistent period of time, and show up with a good attitude and make it happen. Number four, as you raise your frequency, the circumstances in your life begin to become a reflection of your elevated frequency. What do I mean? Have you ever noticed that when you're angry, when you're fearful, when you are pessimistic, when you've had a streak of bad luck and you stay in the same mental space without changing up your energy, your mindset, your attitude, things just keep happening over and over and over and over again. But have you ever noticed that when things are happening well, when things are happening in your favor, when you go on a date and it goes well, when you get paid more than you expected, 
when you you know get a great review on your job at work or when you get great grades at school maybe you get a better grade on the exam than you expected things just start to happen in streaks and then you look back and you go this is one of the best weeks of my life what is going on the core cause of that was one of the core causes of that is because of the vibration and the frequency that you are emitting to the world around you when you are in a frequency of optimism that's a good place to start i'm expecting good things to happen to me but you don't just want to stop there you want to understand deeply with faith why and how things work and then you move yourselves into the vibe you, you move yourself into the vibration of love of of acceptance of all of life around you it doesn't matter what happens i'm going to show up gratefully and joyfully because i know that god has got my back god is going to provide for me i'm going to live with joy i'm going to smile at people that i don't even know for no reason because i am a person of abundance and i'm going to give something that is free and priceless to others every single day when you live in a vibration of peace that you are certain you live with absolute certainty that at the end of the day everything in your life no matter what happens you are going to be just fine because you always have been just fine and no matter how bad anything has gotten it's never taken you out you have a deep peace that passes understanding recently i um i ran into some challenges and i was asking and wondering why is this all happening and i was reminded of this exact information that i'm telling you right now and i just dipped my frequency just long enough for for things to start to stumble downward and it was a stressful time i was new i'm i am newly married i have a young baby and i was used to having all this time on my hands to do all these things that i love to do and all of a sudden i've got a lot of responsibilities a lot of commitments there's a lot of th new things that i wasn't expecting and stress unfortunately is the number one killer of all that you desire and your dreams if you allow yourself to get stressed out and life to drag you down then not only are you putting yourself in a low vibration but you're slowing down everything else around you that you desire from coming into your life because you're living in a place of survival and not of abundance you are a magnet every single one of your cells is vibrating a certain frequency based on your emotional home and how you're feeling what is your emotional home what are you feeling most of the time write down right now what it is that you feel most of the time and put a percentage next to it fortunately in my life now i would say i live about 70% of the time in the frequency of gratitude 70% of my time is spent in gratitude. What is the other 30%? I'm still getting better at that. You know what? There's responsibilities that I've got to take care of. There's things I've got to do. There's logistical things that I've got to handle. And what I'm learning to master now is living in love with God all day long and surrendering deeply to the moment with gratitude for whatever life brings my way. Because in reality, no matter what's going on if you're alive if you've got people who love you you've got food on the table and you've got an income coming in you are more blessed than 90% of people in the entire world you've got so much going on for you and if you change what's going on here and if you change what's what's going on here you have the ability to create any reality that you desire but the vibration that you're emitting draws things to you and that is why when you are in a negative state negativity keeps coming your way to wake you up and say hey ding 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 pay attention life sends you messages but many times we neglect the messages and you look at it with distaste rather than using it as a flashing light saying hey raise your vibration if you do better things are going to come and when you raise your vibration and better things come that is a signal that you're on the right track. And number 5, you don't attract what you want necessarily. You attract what you are. And by being the frequency of love, by becoming your own soulmate first, by 
feeling love and joy in your heart. Love is actually the only thing that can show up in your reality because that's what you are. What are some things you can do right now to start raising the frequency of love within you? You can remove the things in your life that are not loving. Say no. Say no to things that you actually want to say no to. I was coaching somebody the other day and she said that she has a problem saying no. She said that a friend saw a beautiful dress that she had and she said, oh my gosh, I love that dress. You know, could I, could I, um, I think she just asked her if she could have it. And her, this woman was like, yeah, sure, you can have it. But when we were talking, I said, why did you say yes? And she said, well, if I say no, I think people might not like me. And many times we get these crazy things in our head from childhood or previous programming or whatever, wherever they come from, that say, if we say no, people aren't gonna like me. People tend to walk all over people who don't know how to say no. And people develop a really great respect for people who have the ability to say no when they mean no. And it doesn't have to be mean. Just say, no, I like this dress. And that's what she's gonna do from here on out. Set boundaries. Remove yourself from situations that don't serve you. If you don't drink and a group of your friends are going out drinking, don't compromise your values. Say, no, I'm not drinking right now. Maybe, maybe next month, I'm focusing on my health right now. Or maybe you just say, no, I, I really don't drink. Or no, I really don't wanna go there. Or no, you can't talk to me that way. Or no, you can't borrow this. Or no, I will not lend you a thousand dollars for the fifth time. Because people learn how to treat you by the way you show them how to treat you. And when you continually give into things that don't make you feel good, that's gonna continue to keep on coming to you. Finally, how do you love yourself more? You live in your ideal circumstances as much as possible. You live in the reality that you would love to create. It is such a loving thing to do something nice for yourself. When you're feeling stressed out, instead of pushing through it, take a bath, go watch a funny movie, treat yourself. Go do something that you wouldn't normally do. Take yourself on a nice vacation. It doesn't have to be a, a huge extravagant thing. You can drive two hours away and go to the mountains or go to the beach or go here or go there or go stay with a friend for the weekend. Just do something nice for you. And intention is everything. So when you do it, say, I'm doing this with the intention of being good to myself and loving myself. That's all I've got for you today. I'm so excited for you to implement this in your own life. Because once you go through the process of creating one thing in your life, it becomes addicting and you wanna create everything in your life. And fortunately, my wife and I are in a place now where we have learned how to create our own reality and we wake up every single day with excitement and adventure to not only create our reality, but share that with others. So if you want more beautiful information on manifesting your soulmate, on creating your own reality, click subscribe. I'm gonna be coming out with lots of great things for you to learn more about how to become the master and the creator of your own circumstances. And if you've got value, if you know somebody who could benefit, share this with them. This is such valuable information and people could go through their entire lives not knowing this, but you sending them this video could be a turning point in their entire existence because today was the day that they learned that they don't have to be a victim anymore. They don't have to be blown around by life anymore like a sailboat. They can be the rudder. They can guide themselves to whatever reality that they desire. I'm so grateful to have shared this time with you. This is Jacob Rakowski with the Soulmate Community. And remember, your dream life and your soulmate are so much closer than you think.